I'd like to ask to the stage Arjuna Mahultala. Arjuna's from the ANU College of Asia and the Pacific, and the title of Arjuna's presentation tonight is You and I, we're just pawns in the world's biggest gamble. What if I told you currency traders gamble with exchange rates every year to the value of several trillion dollars and it impacts every single one of us? What if we had an opportunity to better understand this gambling so we could minimize its negative impact? I'm researching into this gambling, which is formally called currency carry trade. It's a very simple concept. You borrow money at a low interest rate, say Japanese yen at half a percent. You take that money and invest in a currency that gives you a higher return, say Aussie dollar at 3%. At the end, you take your dollar returns, you settle your loan, you have profits. Extremely profitable if you get it right. Disastrous if you get it wrong, both for the investor and the country. The first part of my research identifies is this gap in the interest rate that drives this gambling. Any reduction in this gap below a certain level, the investors think it's a risky proposition and will start pulling money out of that investment. Let's follow this with an example. Two years ago, in August of 2013, the Reserve Bank of Australia cut interest rates. The gap between interest rates now narrowed, and investors pulled money out of the Australian economy. They pulled so much of money out that the dollar depreciated by over 7% in a matter of few days. The second part of my research takes this depreciation of the dollar and follows it through the economy to see how it impacts, when it impacts, and what magnitude it impacts. Let's come to present time. Aren't the policymakers in parliament today debate that the Australian economy is going to go into a recession? Now, that's exactly what my research predicts. The Australian economy will slow down. But my research also sheds light into what happens to inflation, the prices we pay, unemployment, our jobs, and exports. Just imagine. Had the policymakers known this six months ago, they could have implemented policies to safeguard our way of life, our jobs. Not just Australia. With the findings from this research, any country in the world can utilize appropriate policies to safeguard their economies from a trillion-dollar gamble. 